a Monday, Foxes. Mrs. Spillman here with your weekly announcements. We've got a lot going on. We are on the countdown to the end of the school year. So let's see what we've got this week. First up, this is National Month of Hope. So what are some things you can do to bring hope to others? Everyone needs a little hope now and then to spread it. So spread a little sunshine their way and bring some hope into their lives. Lend a helping hand when they're in need. Help clean up areas where there's trash. Asking how you can help. Do something kind. We are able to bring each, uh, we're able to bring a ray of hope in our own ways by contributing wisdom, time, and our kindness. So do what you can to bring hope to others. All right, and we finish out. This is the last week of April. We are finishing out our word of confidence that is being sure of yourself and your abilities. It is a quiet inner knowledge that you are capable. We celebrated all of our students who show confidence last Friday, but I want to see lots more students work on their confidence because confidence is a very great thing to have. All right, our weekly activity schedule, fourth and fifth grade, we are working on our kickball and our soccer schedule, um, but see what else is out there on days we don't have kickball and soccer, and same for first through third grade. All right, just a quick reminder of basketball at school. Dirties are not a part of the game and are not allowed at Farmdale. We need to not hurt each other while we're playing basketball. The goal is to shoot that hoop, but that doesn't mean we need to uh, push, punch, kick, or throw anyone down to make that happen. So make sure we're not intentionally doing anything to hurt others because we want to keep basketball playing out there. And again, those snacks, everything you bring in the cafeteria needs to be eaten in the cafeteria. You can't take any snacks back outside to go to your backpack. So if you're going to bring something, make sure you bring something you know that you can eat during your lunchtime. All right, we have a student council meeting on Thursday for all classroom representatives at 8 o'clock in the library. All right, we do have a minimum day this week on Wednesday. All students will be released at 1.30. All right, we have our family bingo night on Tuesday. At, on Tuesday from 5 o'clock to 6.30, we will have some bingo games in the cafeteria. We'll have snacks for sale, but the games will be free. We'll have lots of prizes. So come on out and have some bingo fun. All right, we are getting close to the cast test for our third, fourth, and fifth graders. So this Friday, we are going to have our Rock the Test Assembly. Uh, teachers will be given tickets for students to participate in Minute to Win It games to help us kick off our testing week. There will be games and prizes, so be sure to join us. We're so excited. We can't wait for you to take these tests and see how far you guys have come and how well you're doing. All right, our butterfly release day will be in May. Most teachers should have gotten your butterfly kits, and we are hope you are enjoying watching your classroom caterpillars grow. Our release day is scheduled for May 16th, and we have a great show lined up too. Mrs. Garcia in second grade will be working with teachers to start collecting artwork to display the day we release our butterflies. Um, some things we're going to be seeing there: Mr. Magana's fifth grade class is going to be having uh, is going to be participating. Mrs. Sanchez, Mrs. Cecil, and Mrs. Hoag's classes will be featuring music, poetry, and storytelling. All right, we have books for sale in the office. Farmdale's most popular books will be on sale in the office. Here is the list of books that are available for this month. This month we have Fly Guy, Amazing Tricks, Fletcher in the Springtime Blossoms, Spring Stinks, Peek the Cat Out of This World, Dog Man, 20,000 Flea, Plant vs. Zombies, Llamageddon, Dire of a Wimpy Kid, Diaper Overload, and Legend of the Star Runner, Mystery Solve Yourself. So we have those books for sale in the office that you can purchase uh, any anytime that your teacher lets you come or during recess. All right, our talent show is back. Now the talent show will be virtual this year. And what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to have auditions in person and you're going to um, record. Mrs. Carlos is in charge of the talent show. She's going to record your talent and we're going to put it together in a video so that grade levels can vote for their best talent. So if you are interested in this, a permission slip will be going out and auditions will be on May 17th during your lunchtime. And make sure to get those applications in by May 12th to Miss Carlos. All right, congratulations to our track team. Our track team had an amazing weekend over at Golden Valley. We have some students that will be continuing on to the next round. I believe that's in Fresno. Um, so Alejandro, Lashani, Hector, Cecily, Jerry, and Alana, Maximus, Neymar, Elizabeth, Anthony, Eli, London, Adrian, Xavier, Giselle, Aiden, Camila, Giovanni, Sky, Giselle, Liliana, Hector, and Earth. We are so proud of your hard work. And more information will be coming for the students who did earn 
Youth Valley Championship bids and the end of the year team celebration. All right, our perfect attendance spells success. Well, fourth grade really came in strong last week, and they moved fifth grade all the way to fourth place. So right now, second grade is still holding strong with that first place of 94.4. Second place is now fourth grade with 93.8. Third place is third grade with 93.58. And fourth place is fifth grade with 93.4. So come on, fifth grade. Let's see you get back up there. All right, our Live the Creed goal is six certificates this trimester. You guys are looking good. We already have some classes about to be at number six because you are following the Creed every day. So great job. Keep up the hard work. And we have some shout outs. Let's see, we have Mrs. Watson's class. For the 21st, they earn foxes on time and will be scheduling a snow cone party for their class soon. Good job, Mrs. Watson's class. All right, Mrs. Lowe's class had perfect attendance on the 18th. Mrs. Gomez's class also had perfect attendance on the 18th. Mrs. Garcia's fourth grade class earned a letter towards Foxes on time with all of their students arriving on time. Congratulations. A big congratulations to our speech festival winners. We had Alana and Fu who won third place and Yeremi and Peyton with honorable mention and they were honored at MCOE on uh, last week. So congratulations again to our winners for the speech festival. All right, so our tournament, our fifth grade kickball tournament this week, we have game three on Tuesday, which will be Mrs. Hogue versus Mr. Magana. And our soccer tournament for week two on the 27th will be Mrs. Vang versus Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Hillhouse versus Mrs. Garcia. Good luck, Foxes. All right, our positive office referrals for this week. Andrew received a positive office referral from Mrs. Gomez in first grade. She said he had a fantastic week. He has been really helpful in the classroom, focused, and has stayed on task. Great job, Andrew. They also had a positive office referral for Santino, Mrs. Nuvo's class, but he was not here for a picture on Friday, so we'll celebrate him next week. All right, a top fox shout out. Mrs. Gunn is sending a shout out, shout out to Samaj for meeting her top fox goals and working so hard this trimester. Great job, Samaj. Kimberly has surpassed her who's reading goal for third grade. She is currently working on meeting her reflex math goal to make top fox. Keep it up. Mrs. Charo is so proud of you. And then we have Adrian and Olivia that made Top Fox for the third time this year. They are so excited and anxious for the special prize they've earned. Their motivation is inspiring, and I couldn't be more proud. Keep up the goal setting for next year in fourth grade. We'll be going on that trip very soon. I'm excited to take you guys. All right, Mrs. Ingram's class celebrated their second Foxes on Time with a snow cone party because that's second grade. They like to come to school, and we're happy that they're here. Good job, Mrs. Ingram's class. All right, it's time for our kindness ticket winners. It is a full, full box. So let's see what who we've got this week. It's Mrs. Spillman, so we know we should do five winners, right? Five? Okay. All right, my first winner is Jalia Vang from Mrs. Zhang's fifth grade class for being respectful. Congratulations, Jalia. All right, let's see. The next one is Layla from Mrs. Johnson and Rosales's class for being responsible. And she even had pick me all over this. And guess what, Layla? You were picked. Congratulations. It worked. You gave it good karma. We have Aaliyah C. from Mrs. Ward's class for being safe, being responsible, being respectful, and being kind. Congratulations, Aaliyah. All right, we have Hector from Mrs. M. Garcia's class for being responsible. All right, let's see if we have any lower grade students. We have a lot of the fourth and fifth today. And the last one is Aaliyah from Mrs. Johnson and Rosales' class for being responsible and being respectful. Congratulations, Aaliyah. Mrs. Johnson and Rosales' class was very lucky today. So we have Aaliyah, Hector, Aaliyah, Layla, and Jalea. Congratulations, everyone. I will be around to make sure you get those prizes this week. And our quote of the week, since we it is the finishing up the month of hope, never give up. Have hope. Expect only the best from life and take action to get it. If you want something, work for it and make sure you don't give up. 
All right, and if it's your birthday, which I'm going to have the birthdays at the end of the video, make sure you stop by the library to pick up that birthday book. All right, have a great week, everyone. Get those foxes up. To be a fox, repeat in your mind. Be safe, be responsible, respectful, and kind. All right, have a great week. Bye.